What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new show here on the Knights of Horror called Conspiracy Breakdown. I am going to be looking at some of the weirdest, creepiest, and quite possibly most infamous conspiracies the world has ever seen and break them down and give my thoughts. Now the first portion of the video will be me explaining the conspiracy and then the last half of the video will be, will be me giving my, my thoughts on said conspiracy. Um, today on the pilot episode of Conspiracy Breakdown, we are going to be talking about the Philadelphia Experiment. Uh, this was a wacky story and I really don't know what to make of it, but I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless, so here it goes. The Conspiracy. The story goes that during the chaos of World War II, a group of scientists working on the US Navy were carrying out an experiment that could have altered the face of the battle completely. They were attempting to make a warship invisible. The warship in question was the USS Eldridge, docked in the Philadelphia Naval Yard and the experiment supposedly took place on October of 1943. A scientist named Dr. Franklin Reno was said to be the mind behind the project, having taken inspiration from Einstein's unified fill theory. And according to the legend, it was a success. Not only was the ship rendered invisible, but in subsequent experiments, apparently teleported to another location 200 miles away and back the experiment wasn't without its side effects however sailors were said to have suffered from a range of alignments including nausea mental trauma invisibility and spontaneous combustion it is even said that some sailors were found partly embedded in the surface of the ship itself from its part the u.s navy has always denied that the philadelphia experiment ever took place but this is merely added to the claims that the incident was covered up despite repeated Counterclaims that the experiment is a mixture of a hoax and misheard information. The Navy really were looking at ways to, of making ships undetectable to magnetic torpedoes at the time, which could have somehow been misinterpreted as invisible. The legend endured partly thanks to the books like the Philadelphia Experiment Project Invisibility. The obvious question though is, if the US managed to make a ship invisible so long ago, why hasn't this technology become widespread since? The supporters of the conspiracy would probably argue that the US Navy uses invisibility all the time. We just can't see the evidence. The movies. The experiment that should have never happened 41 years ago is still going on. Read the tagline to the Philadelphia experiment, which took the legend and turn it into a time travel adventure romance. Michael Parr and Bobby DeSico play two sailors aboard the USS Eldridge who find themselves thrown 40 years into the future by the experiment and then have to figure out a means of closing off a rift in time and space that could destroy the entire planet. Although not a big hit at the time of the release, the Philadelphia experiment is almost as persistent as the legend behind it. A belated sequel materialized in 1993 while a made-for-TV remake appeared on the Sci-Fi Channel in 2012. The Philadelphia Experiment is also a good example of how urban lemons perpetrate themselves through storytelling. In the late 1980s, a chap named Al Bilek happened to catch a showing of the 1984 Philadelphia Experiment movie to television, which he claimed dislodged repressed memories of his own involvement on the 1943 project. In later interviews, he not only stated that he had been a sailor aboard the USS Eldridge, but also that he's been sent forward in time to the year 1983. Mind you, Bilek also claimed to have taken the time tunnel to Mars, conversed with aliens, traveled forward in time to the year 2137, and back to the year 100,000 BC. Bilek's claims then appeared to inspire the filmmakers of the film 100,000 BC and straight to video action film, where the members of the Philadelphia Experiment go back to the time of the dinosaurs. Now, there's a lot of good information here, a lot of interesting information going with the Philadelphia Experiment. I do believe that the U.S. Navy and the government were working on something of a cloaking device, an invisibility device, that is, to try to camouflage their ships from getting detected from the enemy. Whether it was teleporting or time travel, I do not know, uh, but I feel like this could be true, maybe to the certain extent of maybe time I don't know I mean I from what I've seen in conspiracies and stuff a lot of people have tried to mess with time travel in the past and uh, I, I believe the government is probably working on something of time travel but I have to say this is a very creepy urban legend as far as finding bodies embedded into the ship uh, with this experiment and everything um, especially this one guy who claims he was a uh, a member of this experiment 
went to the future, went to the year 1983, went to the past 100,000 BC. So it's interesting to see these stories and hear them. I'm going to go out and say that maybe this actually happened. I can see maybe invisibility, but I, I, I'm having a little trouble believing the time travel part. But let me know what you guys think of the Philadelphia experiment. This is simply an interesting conspiracy theory, but I want to know... Uh, more about the time travel aspect of it so i'm gonna have to do my research on that but let me know what you guys think about the philadelphia experiment do you guys think it was real do you guys think it actually happened or do you think it's all just a hoax and they were maybe testing something else uh, leave it in the comments below like this video and hit that subscribe button with that bell notification be aware every time we put up a new video as well as follow us on social media at the knights of horror on instagram and at knights of horror on twitter my name is anthony of the knights of horror and i will see you guys next time